A gunman on rollerblades shot and killed a man sleeping in his vehicle in a West Central Fresno shopping center last year. Today, a judge ruled there was enough evidence for the alleged shooter and getaway driver to go to trial. The lead homicide investigator testified how surveillance video and search warrants helped piece the case together. Yes, a lot of video evidence was collected in this case. Fresno Police Detective Ryan Rockwell says surveillance video gave them their initial leads while investigating the murder of 70-year-old Richard Martin. In May of last year, Martin was found shot to death inside his vehicle in the Fresh Co. Food Shopping Center at Shields and Brawley. Rockwell says video showed defendant Alejandra Munoz casing the parking lot near Martin's car in the hours leading up to the shooting. Then, just before the shooting, he says Munoz pulls up again. A person on rollerblades comes from the direction of where she parked and Munoz takes off. The killer passed by Mr. Martin's vehicle twice before approaching a third time at 1120 and committing the shooting. And when you say that the killer approached the vehicle, um, would both those times um, was that person on rollerblades? Yes, the whole time. Rockwell says the shooter rollerbladed to Marty Avenue where Munoz was waiting in her car. Rockwell says they were eventually able to track down 41-year-old Guillermo Perez through phone records between he and Munoz. Investigators say Munoz had hired Perez in the past for odd jobs. Detectives found rollerblades and similar clothing that matched the shooters during a search warrant at Perez's home. Shell casings found at the scene of Martin's murder also matched shell casings in another case where Perez was the alleged shooter. Rockwell says his theory for the killing involves an $850,000 payment that Martin had verbally agreed to accept in order to settle a civil case against his former employer just days before his death. That former employer was Munoz's current employer. But both defense attorneys argued there's only circumstantial evidence in the case. Okay, that's the only evidence you have is the conclusions you drew from the videos you collected. Yes. The connections here are coincidental at best. None of them are, pardon my use of phrase, a smoking gun. But the judge disagreed, saying the timing of the verbal settlement and murder must be considered as well as all the circumstantial evidence combined. So I'm not considering any individual piece of the puzzle. I'm considering a puzzle in its entirety, um, and it, it is striking. Munoz and Perez will be back in court later this month, and a trial date will be set.